Oh, this time it works. So this is the one where he's driving and you're driving the other side. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of My Girlfriend Watches Bond. Hi! With my girlfriend Lirit. This is episode 4. Welcome back! Welcome back. Uh, so last time we watched Goldeneye and you gave Goldeneye an 8.5. I did. Yeah, you did. You don't remember? <laughs> How did you like this one? We've taken everything eight and into account. 8.5. Uh, eight eight yeah, so we're getting good. better each week basically. Yeah. Or each time. Uh, what do you remember of Goldeneye actually? Uh, they were in Russia. Yeah. And with the Dutch actress Famke Janssen. That's right. And was it on a train? There was a train in it. There was. Yeah. Uh, with a tank. They went through the city. Yeah, that's right. Well, you you actually do remember. Oh, and 006. 006. Yeah, that was. You went broke. Yeah. Or something like that. Exactly. Yeah, and then Bond had to go up against him. Yeah. That was the, the last. UFO or something like that. Yeah, you meant the fight. big dish. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 We're back now to uh, continue with Pierce Brosnan's Bond movies. Um, do you have any expectations or things you're hoping to see in this no, film? The same. More of the same. More from of the him? same. I'm curious what happens next with him. Okay. There's also two other Bond girls I see. Yeah. There is in every movie two Bond girls. Uh, with Pierce Brosnan there are mostly, yeah. This so time one it's... bad and one good. Yeah, maybe you can take a guess. Out of the two Bond girls in today's Bond film. I think the one with the necklace is uh, bad. And the one with the gun holding like this. The Asian one is good. Yeah, you're pretty spot on. So, we're going to see the movie and you'll see uh, what type of Bond girls they are and what type of action you can expect this time. So, hi, welcome back. We're back. <laughs> We've just finished watching your fourth James Bond film, Tomorrow yeah. Never Dies. Yeah. Um, what did you think of it? Very good movie. Oh, really? Yes, better than the other one, the Golden Eye. So, we keep getting better then. Yes, because I was quiet the whole movie. <laughs> I was quite had nothing to focused add. On the focused on the action, focused on the girl, the bomb girl. She did pretty well, so... You were impressed by this one? Yes, I didn't fall asleep. I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> that was only during Goldfinger, luckily. Yeah. I'm actually surprised you like it even better than Goldeneye. So, with yeah. each week, you like it better and better. But so the far, we're going up. Yeah. this movie, mm, it was a joke. I'm sorry for the actor. He's watching this. <laughs> no, 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 Jonathan Price is the yeah, actor. He no. plays, uh, we could talk about him, Elliot Carver. So you thought he was a bit of a joke. Yeah. Could you elaborate a bit more why why that was? His appearance. I didn't bother him. Mm. <laughs> hey, 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 I kind of agree. Um, I made a, a top 10 Bond villains yeah. and I did not include him on there. I, I don't think he has that classic... No, he didn't have that Nothing that turns the evil, evil bad side. Like, yeah. um, it's that one license to kill. Fran Sanchez? Yes, he had that spark in his heart. Uh, like, I agree. I'm bad. Um, what did you think of, of Elliot Carver's? Well, you didn't like him uh, as a character, but what did you think of his evil scheme, his plan to uh, provoke a war between uh, England and China for television ratings? So stupid. Sorry. <laughs> he wanted more rating for his news and for his newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, of course, there was no social media uh, yeah, okay. yet, but. Yeah, uh, in these like days, papers. it could have yeah, but in these days it could have been uh, maybe even more relevant because of how big the media is now compared to how big it was becoming in the nineties. It was a good story, but I wasn't buying it. No, 
No, I can see why. It's a typical. It was, the script was very good. Yeah. yeah. I'm really surprised you say that because I was thinking you would think, oh, that just uh, most Bond fans fans think this is just a standard action movie. The plot has been done a couple of times, but you didn't see uh, the other film. Newspapers. Mm -hmm. It's so important. Yeah. Like for ratings and viewers yeah. <laughs> that they start a war for it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but it is kind of a Bond villain thing maybe, yeah, but yeah. I can see where you're coming from. Um, but the villain? No. No, sorry. They had to cast another one, like yeah. his, uh, his right hand. Yeah, the, the fatty, the chubby one. Dupta, yeah. I think he... Like, you talked about this during the movie when yeah. you said that uh, Gupta and Elliot Carver should have swapped roles, in your opinion. Which I thought was a very interesting... Uh, I've never heard anyone say that. Because <laughs> Gupta is like a character that no one really notices. He, he had a much... Yeah, that's why he had to be the villain in yeah. my eyes. And he has like that spark in his eyes that he's like crazy. <laughs> yeah, and Gupta did have a mo much more interesting role initially. He, he's originally uh, a magician. And he was okay. throwing cards. Uh, he when? was supposed to throw cards in the movie, but all those scenes were cut from the film. He can, he is a professional card thrower. Where you yeah. can cut, where you can cut melons with with playing cards. He can really do that. He did but it. Why in the did movie. they cut it? And they thought it was a bit over the top. I think. I, I wish they but kept she, it. In. But the bond girl, she like throw throws like the stars thingies. That's true. Yeah, the ninja stars, the shurikens. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they that's more acceptable because that's an actual weapon or and cards aren't. But yeah, who knows. Speaking of the Bond girl, mm -hmm. Waylin, this time around. Oh, there were yeah, two Bond girls. Yeah, she was badass, Waylin. It's getting better and better with the films. <laughs> yeah, true. She's, she, she was like this, oh, I'm gonna shoot like this and this and there and she, there She's there. very badass. Yeah, so you think... She had like this whole, how do you call it, her house, her... Um, hideout? Yeah, her hideout and she pushed that one button and everything in that hideout was like turned into a uh, technical... Mm -hmm. Like spy stuff spy, and equipment. Yeah. 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 Now I agree. She's like a, a female Jackie Chan, so to speak. Karate, she did all of that for real. She's, she's, uh, oh, she did all Yeah, in Hong Kong she's like a big action star. Now in Hollywood too, but um, she's definitely... Uh, Capable of doing that for real. Oh. She's, she's very skilled. Uh, Michelle Yeoh is her real name. Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely remember her. She's a, she's a good Bond girl. I, I completely agree. She, she really seems like uh, Bond's equal. Yeah. Which I think is yeah. good. So, uh, yeah, definitely one of my uh, favorite Bond girls as well. There was also. And she's the first one of the Bond girls that she said in his face. Don't think about it. Don't get any ideas. Yeah. She's not the she's first one, but she's the first one you saw the, that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. In and the she, end, of course, Bond did like end up. that position in front of him, like mm -mm, no, no, no. When they were on the bike. Yeah. 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 Speaking <laughs> of that, she was like sitting like this. <laughs> speaking of that scene, I want to try and recreate oh, no. that scene a little bit because during the movie fake. we dis we fake. discussed that they yeah. were attached to each other. So, what I've got here... Where did you get that? Oh, I just Sorry. picked it up before the video, sneakily. So, um, I'm didn't, gonna... I didn't know that you had this in your house. I'm gonna <laughs> handcuff us together. Don't act like you've never done this before. Oh, shit! <laughs> We can do these positions as well. But we had like the handcuff yeah, with the silver thingy in between. Yeah, this is I, like I couldn't find the handcuffs, honey. What? Okay, how did they do this? They had like a couple of positions. First, they. The car and the. Th this is difficult. Oh. Each other the wrong way. You should be oh. on the top. <laughs> my watch is stuck. Oh, oh. My watch. Wait, wait, wait. We will do it again. Stay true. Watch out! Watch oh, out! Oh, I should not cut my clothes. Yeah. No, not that tight. The handcuffs aren't that tight. I, I, I think! <laughs> I think! <laughs> 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 Alright, like, 
like this? Yeah. This should be enough. All right. All right. Let's try it again. <laughs> well, All right, let's try and get over my neck. Or did we do it wrong again? No. Yeah. All right, this time it works. So this is the one where he's driving and you're driving the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck it. We're driving. We're, we're driving. We're driving. Like this. <laughs> there we go. So, and then he was driving like this. But with one arm? Yeah, well. He was driving. Oh no, he was driving <laughs> like this. He was driving like this. <laughs> no, that hurts! <laughs> okay. Anyway, what did you think of that scene, that action scene of them being handcuffed together on the BMW bike? Did you like that action scene or um, Well, in the beginning different? that they fought about the bike or car, I saw us like, no, the bike, no, the way they were arguing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not the bike. Okay, the bike. <laughs> okay. And no, I want to be a <laughs> No, bike. <laughs> okay. And then the action scene itself, there was mm -hmm. a helicopter involved. Um, they were yeah. driving over the rooftops in uh, Vietnam. Uh, did you like that action scene? Yeah. Mm, nothing to just... You just enjoyed no, it? I just enjoyed it. There was also another action scene. This is a really action-oriented uh, movie, I think. The other one, the big one, is the one with the BMW car in the car park. Yeah. Where Bond is sitting on the back seat driving like the car a, with like his phone. Like a Game Boy or something? Yeah, kind of oh, like a Game Boy. Yeah. Oh, I have this also, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What did you think of that scene? That's also one of the highlights. Is that, that real? Uh, no, he can't drive the car with a phone. No. But so, uh, uh, he is in the, on the back seat filmed. And how did they film that? I think there's just some guy that operating the car off camera or something that maybe he's under the seat. I don't really know yeah, how to do it. Yeah, because you see like um, clips of him with the car in front or at the at the side of the car and you see no one No, yeah, the of seat. course, that's how it's supposed to be filmed, but uh, it's a good question actually. I, I've seen a lot of behind the, the, the scenes footage of Bond films. I never really know how they did this, but th there must have been some guy and driving it. Um, anyway. So we talked about Wei Lin a little bit, the Bond girl you really liked, but there was also uh, a secondary Bond girl, so to speak. Like um, some bad... Yeah, kind of like um, she Lupe. Was like bad side. Yeah, yeah, like Lupe in License to Kill, she was mm -hmm. the wife of uh, the villain, Elliot Carver, Paris Carver, yeah. played by Terry Hatcher. Hey, Terry Hatcher. Oh, you can Terry Hatcher. Based so on uh, Desperate Housewives. Yeah, I uh, I saw her from another series. Yeah, you knew, you knew about her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what did you think of her in this movie? Yeah, just the wife of. Yeah, I agree. I, I And she didn't even make the last scene. She died in the hotel room. That's right. Yeah, Bond was unable to save her in time. Um, speaking of that hotel room, that moves us into another exciting scene where Dr. Kaufman shows up, the German assassin, <laughs> doctor of forensics assassin. What did you think of, of, of him? Stand up, slowly, drop your gun on the ticket told me, yeah? Um, well, I didn't like this character in the movie. Um, it's just one short scene, but yeah. I think it's very memorable, his, his scene. Well, not in my head. I think <laughs> what, what fans really enjoy about that scene mm -hmm. is that they all say and agree that that is one of the most badass kills that Bond makes. Well, like in his he, head, but you don't see it. You yeah, you see don't see like, it, but it's more of the ooh, line where, where he goes, it. wait, I'm just a professional doing a job, and then yeah, Bond me goes, too. me too. Yeah, but you don't see blood or anything, you no, don't of see course him not. Like lying. But oh, that's what you would like to see, yeah. you'd like to see the bullet. Yeah. All right. Right. You kill him, right? Yeah. So not a big fan of Dr. Kaufman then? No, mm -hmm. not really. Okay. Well, he only shows up in one scene, of course. He's a minor character, but I think mm -hmm. he's a very quirky character that, you know, that's memorable because he just shows up and then, you know, pretty cool scene. 
Anything else you want to mention about Derry Hatcher, maybe, or um, anything else? She only wore one dress, the black one. Yeah, that's true. Because in that scene where, where she was dead, she was like naked. Was she? Yeah, she was naked. She had only like the, the satin um, blanket on her. But she I was think like, she's wearing the dress in that scene too, right? I don't know. I saw only like satin sheets. I think if she was naked, I would have remembered. But you're yeah. right, she, in the, all the scenes she does show up in a live, one, she's only one wearing dress. a dress. Yeah, one black dress. Yeah, and of course she's without a dress necklace. when she's kissing Bond. Yeah. A necklace? She's wearing a necklace? Yes! Oh yeah, she is. What do you know? With Stamper, you can totally see that's a German guy. Yeah, he, but he, he looks also, completely like, German. like, his hair is, but you see in the film, uh, his hair is blonde, but if you see closely, his hair is brown. You can see that. Yeah, I think you're right, it's dyed. It's dyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, and he had and two different color I eyes. I was wondering if you noticed yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I noticed and, and that. I'm so surprised you found that out in the first viewing, because I found that out only a couple of years ago. Really? Yeah, and I've been watching this <laughs> as a child. I, I, I saw this in seven, <laughs> and you watched it on your first view. Oh, he has two color, you're right about yeah. that. Not a lot of people noticed that. Um, good call. Anyway, um, there was another action scene. The movie started with a really action-heavy opening uh, on the Arms Bazaar, where oh, a ballistic yeah. missile was flying towards Bond, and yeah. he had to but fly out there. But all the beginnings of the uh, Bond films always start with a military base, military something something. Uh, no, they don't, but they just happen to both start that way with Goldeneye and Tomorrow Never Dies in this kind of a snowy area, both of them. Yeah. Um, it, just, it just happens that the ones you've seen with Pierce Brosnan, <laughs> they start Only way. with these films. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. not every opening. Okay. Though, right? No, but they all, uh, especially the later ones that we're in now, always start with like a pre-title sequence, which mm -hmm. is like a, a, an action-oriented uh, opening to get you pumped to see the rest of the movie, and then it moves into the, uh, the that's title the song. Because the first thing I said to you, oh, another base. Another army, army base. base, yeah. He said, no, 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 this is a bazaar. Bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the scene, you know, without it being, oh, another military base? What Did, did you like it? Did you thought it was thrilling? Well, they said, um, what did they say? White Knight? Yeah, they said, Bond was White Knight. Yeah, but I don't know. White Knight. I don't know that he has another name. Oh, he doesn't. It's just in this film. A code, uh, a a code, code name. name. Yeah. And to, to keep the audience enticed uh, who the White Knight is. Come in. White Knight. Come in. Keep trying, Derek. White Knight. Come in. White Knight. Yeah. White Knight. And you guessed it too. You were like, yeah, oh, White Knight must be Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a big surprise, of course, but yeah. M, yeah. The bus, M. They were like... Kind of fighting. Fighting. Yeah. yeah. And he just shuts her up. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm in charge here. Mm -hmm. And then she was right. And then later in the movie, she kind of gets back at him with, mm -hmm. the, with the, the remark of the, the balls. Yeah. Like, forgive me, Em, I don't think you have the balls for this job. Yeah. And she's going, well, the advantage is I don't have to think with them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Also with the scene in the car, M and what's her, what's her name in the front seat, her name? No, oh, Money Penny. Money Penny. They were talking about, uh, you just have to find out how much pumping is needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he was like looking at them like... Yeah, now he has like two women going at him in, yeah. uh, at the office. <laughs> Money Penny is the one he usually flirts with. That's the tradition in all the Bond movies. Okay. Money Penny is like the secretary of M, but now that M is also a woman, mm -hmm. it's like two women going at him, kind of. It's a different dynamic oh, okay. than normally. Okay, Money Penny was in all the other films. Yeah. So. Um, but before we forget, we didn't talk about Bond himself this time around. He was once again played by Pierce Brosnan, his second Bond film. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw his first film too. Um, what did you think of him in this film? Yeah, just dashing like the other one. But it's kind of weird because every time in every movie, 
And James Bond is always wearing his suit. Mm -hmm. That's a Bond statement. Everywhere, yes. Of course, he's, he's James Bond. <laughs> so you liked him again? Yeah, and um, yeah. He saved the world without any cuts on his face or any like bullets in his body. Yeah. Quite weird. Yeah. <laughs> it, they, that's James Bond for you, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it gets different like, in the newer films. Like, yeah? Daniel Craig does get bruised all the time. Yeah, and, uh, that's like real. Yeah, this is but like... it's like the different times. Now that, that's what audiences want now. And that's the thing with Bond. They always move with, with the audience. Um, there was also, before I forget about it, but um, a Dutch celebrity in this film who, oh, made, yeah. who made a cameo. Dutch and I was curious Dutch. if you were going to pick it up. The camera turned to James Bond and then I saw Daphne Decker. Excuse me, Mr. Carver? Yes. This is the new banker, Mr. Bond. James Bond. She didn't change a bit. No, she didn't. No. no, This is something for the viewers, because most viewers wouldn't know who Daphne Dekkers is. It's definitely only the Dutch viewers know. But you immediately picked it up as well. Like, yeah. hey. And she still looks pretty much like that. Yeah, yeah she, she <laughs> hasn't changed, basically. Yeah. Um, so, to sum it up, um, we've watched Tomorrow Never Dies now. You like this the best yet out of the four we've watched. Which I'm very surprised by, because most people prefer Golden Eye over Tomorrow Never Dies. I, I like that you like it even better, uh, but now I'm really curious. Well, I like the story better, but the, I think the Bomb Girl is better than Golden Eye. I think the story and the script is better than Golden Eye. Wow! But the villain. You like 006 better than. Yeah. The, yeah. He was also handsome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that I care about a handsome dude. But, but you also. You but also um, anyway, a rating this time. I'm really curious what rating you're going to give it this time what around. What did I give Golden Eye? An eight and a half. Oh. You went from a six to a seven and a half to License to Kill, then an eight and a half to Golden Eye. And now I changed on. Golden Eye. <laughs> yeah, well, that's easy. Okay, but what would you give this movie? 8.6 then. <laughs> okay, 8.6, sweet. It beat Golden Eye slightly. <laughs> so, we're going to be back for another My Girlfriend Watches Bond episode next time. Uh, one? Speaking of next time, I'm always asking you, what do you want <laughs> to do next time? We could move on to the next one that features Denise Richards. Yeah, everybody said to me she is like very bad in acting in this movie, so I'm very excited. But the most of you are very excited to uh, like watch my opinion about what's that one? Die another day. From Halle Berry. Yeah, that's I I <laughs> I'm, that's gonna be painful to watch because. What if I like that one? Ooh, well. <laughs> I'm su I would be surprised if you do. Yeah, I would be okay. surprised. Well, but let's start with the one from, uh, what's her name, with the blonde hair? Uh, Denise Richards? Denise Richards. So we're just going to move to the next one, coming after Tomorrow Never yeah, Dies. Yeah, because I want to see her acting. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll be back. We'll just continue with the Brasson films next time. Oh, and we'll he's, be... he's also in that one. Yeah, Brasson still has two left. He did four Bond films. Okay. So we'll be watching Brosnan's third film, The World Is Not Enough, in the next one. And okay. we'll be back for episode five. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed once again. Oh, just one moment. He has a new Instagram. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does it cost? Dutch Bond fan. At Dutch follow Bond fan. Him. You can follow me there. I, I forget to say, say stuff like that. Anyway, guys, take care. See you later. Bye. Bye.